that got me. In the blue corner, age 21 years old, representing Ghana. He has had 18 fights, won 16, lost two, 11 by knockout. Sulaiman Alidu. In the right corner, representing the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Taiwo, J2 Boy, Olowu. In the red corner, 28 years of age, representing the Federal Republic of Nigeria, He's had 18 fights, 16 wins, two losses, 11 by knockout. Taiwo, J2 Boy, Olowu. Our judges are Shei George, Taiwo Olaifa, Constance Chinagoro, our referee is Shegu Adesoya. But before we progress, please let's rise for the national anthem, first of Ghana. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the national anthem of the most populous black nation on the face of the earth, the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Super World Away title. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself. Any foul committed, you'll be penalized. The chief second has the right to throw in the toy if any of you is in trouble. Touch gloves and have a great fight. It's actually a welterweight, a title bout in the West Africa sub-region of Africa. 
And so it's a West Africa Boxing Union welterweight title bout. Suleiman Alidu unbeaten from Ghana. He's got 10 bouts and 10 wins all. And so it's a battle of fighters that knows their onions. That they know their onions. And so we'll see how it's going to be decided. Suleiman Alidu out of Ghana, out, fighting out of Accra, Ghana, in black, the white trunks, black trunk and white trimmings. And of course, uh, his opponent, Olowu in Nigeria, as a color, green, white, green. Both boxers taking the early stages of this first round to size themselves up, they're checking each other out with some very straight, stiff and quick jabs as well. It's the main event of the night, just like uh, Ralph talked about earlier, 10 rounds, West African Boxing Union, weatherweight title bout. Ghana's Suleiman Dynamite Alidu in black trunks up against Nigeria's very own Taiwo Gentle Boy Olowu. When he's in the ring, it's nothing close to being gentle. Not at all. For Alidu, uh, this is his third fight of 2023. And uh, he's been able to win all of them. His last fight was on the 21st of October, 2023, right there at the Bukum Boxing Arena, where he won against uh, Anapimo Jr. It was a unanimous decision. And so he's here in Nigeria now, trying to win the West Africa Boxing Union Wabu title in the welterweight uh, division. But it's going to be a formidable opponent here in Nigeria, so Uluwu. Nice body punch there, coming from Alidu. But he didn't seem to bother Gentle Boy, who's gone straight for the head and scoring three consecutive punches against his opponent. Using that his job and of course superior reach advantage. That was way way too low to the thigh of his opponent and so the referee quickly saying no no, don't do that. We are not having any of those. again Alidu will have to watch out because Olowu can be very lightning quick in some of those jabs but he's got very fast jabs of his own as well nice one I don't really Olowu um, needs to do much more uh, because he's check out the body conditioning of uh, Alidu that he tells you that he can take uh, those uh, punches uh, from Olowu all night <laughs> Second round of Shadow 10, uh, the British West Africa Boxing Union, a welterweight a title fight uh, between Nigeria and Ghana. A leader of Ghana and a low of Nigeria. from Alidu. Hello, we're trying to penetrate that guy that put up by Alidu.
Lowood there penetrating. Another overhead right hand of Lowood. Not quite getting the right. There he goes up. Go through the guard once again. A little the left jab. Position, like we said earlier, and it's a very powerful puncher to the body. Talking about uh, Ali Suleiman and uh, Olowo himself sending some very, ex uh, very, very excruciating body punches through. But we said it earlier, both boxers castling each other out there with uh, good jabs, and Ali gets in another jab there again. But Olowo dances out of the corner. right there second round of this one uh, the, the, the fight is getting more and more interesting uh, compared to what we saw in the first round of the fight the two boxers are uh, looking like uh, they are evenly matched steps in the middle of the ring and uh, immediately Dynamite Ali to Suleiman goes for jabs but uh, not really connecting with them but keeping his opening busy and Olohu using the stopper strategy of his uh, right hand trying to set himself up for his uh, more powerful left hand which has not really been able to do the damage so far. Two boxers ready to trade at the center of the ring. That left are not going in. A little seems to be holding back the punches, a good uh, jabs from Olu. He has a very good uh, hands uh, that, that are helping him to block those uh, jabs coming from Olu. And uh, I noticed that uh, uh, earlier as well, and uh, also the referee getting onto it finally. Uh, I noticed that th there's been a lot of uh, stepping on toes coming from uh, Dynamite. Nice left jab. Olu docking it and... Uh, Clinching coming from uh, Alidu there uh, when he get, went into the corner. Dynamite tries to connect some jabs in there, but uh, Olohu standing strong, 
connected from the side. Dynamite trying to get on the inside so that he can actually get his opponent. But Olohu doing a whole lot of movement. But Ali is just chasing his man all I, over, I, but he's not I, throwing I the punches. I don't, I don't understand why he's doing so much of that. Rather than staying and fighting it, he is chasing his opponent, and it's up, his opponent keeps scoring these punches. That's a massive one there. One to the body, one to the head by Ali Dude. He scores another one. He's ready to fight. I don't understand why he's chasing his opponent all over the ring. The rounds are moving thick and fast into the fourth round of Shadow 10 for the West Africa title. I'll fly at welterweight division between Alidu of Ghana and Olowu of Nigeria. Alidu with a big one. Alidu just uh, seems like um, I know his punch, uh, the punch of Olowu won't, won't hurt me. And so that's uh, it's now going in and say uh, bring it on. I think uh, referee at this uh, there having words with Alidu telling Alidu that he needs to slow down on that uh, clashing of heads. The clash of heads always dangerous. In the world of boxing, and so the referee won't uh, want any. A couple of uh, body shots uh, from Alidu, but the one upstairs didn't work. Body shot again, Alidu. Olowu just uh, going through. He wanted to go through. Oh, that's a good one from Alidu. Suleiman Alidu has got 10, 8 knockouts out of his 10 wins. He's undefeated. And I'm sure he wants to leave Nigeria staying undefeated. I think he's been able to uh, size out his opponent. And he's looking at it like, uh, although he's not offering so much offensively against him. And he's uh, being a bit too... Olowu is not one known for big punches. Yeah, but he's fighting a, punch, uh, a boxer who's called the Dynamite. Good combination there coming from that man once again, Dynamite. Who looks to be getting this round, the way things are going. The dynamite from Ghana. Alidu, unrelenting. Chasing a low, chasing a left hook. Good body shot, all from a dynamite. Alidu. Oh, big right hander from the dynamite, Alidu. He definitely took that round, as far as I'm concerned. Definitely took that round. Now you can see the uh, mark of acknowledgement coming from Olo after that uh, right hand connected straight off. To his face he needs to do a lot more he needs to stop the aggression 
of Alidu if he wants to dominate this fight because Alidu is beginning to grow in confidence uh, and he's feeling that uh, there's not much Olo we can offer him offer against him and that it could be very dangerous for Olo. He needs to also start stopping his authority in the, in the, in the fight. A little not waiting at all, like Sensei to one two. Lou wants to fight from the outside. Big right hand from Alidu. Another one from Alidu. Body shots are sending in. Alidu. Lou needs to start. The physical size of Alidu is giving Lou a whole lot of problem. It's, uh, it's not looking. It's, it's looking intimidated by. Alidu, the way old and Alidu is forcefully getting himself over him and is allowing Alidu to actually have his way. He's not throwing a lot of those jabs that, needs, that he needs to send um, Alidu backwards. Rather, Alidu, Alidu skips coming forward. Lou really getting upper hand in the last uh, one minute. Alidu searching for the body shots again. One, two from Olowu upstairs. Big right hand from Alidu. Good left from Olowu. Another left from Olowu. Alidu not able to stick one in. The point from Alidu bounces off. Absolutely amazing. Pound, point for punch, these guys are giving themselves. And uh, Tai was beginning to stand his ground gradually now. And he's beginning to score points as well. But he needs to get himself ready for those excruciating pony punches. And he needs to get himself out of the corner whenever he finds himself in that area. But Ali did doing a great job. But I think so far so good. Olu is owning this round. But once again, Ali did trying to come back into it. Alidu not thinking at all what he can do, he just uh, go on. Oh, that was a flurry from Alidu. Not all landing though. Olohu just uh, fighting from the outside. Sends it left in, not sticking it in. End of a very, very eventful round there. Uh, absolutely eventful. What a round. It was a back and forth, but I think Olohu took this one because he scored a lot of big punches uh, in that one. He won't even wait for the referee to call them. All right, now they can go. Oh, no, no, no. 
Can you imagine how many coaches Olowo has here? Oh, that's a good one, a good one too to the body and one upstairs. The Ghanaian is just punching away. I think Olowo is putting up a strategy here. He wants, uh, he's found out that Alidu gets exhausted after throwing quite a lot of punches and he wants to block, defend himself against it, let him exhaust himself and kind of unleash some kind of flurry. And you can see once again, he's asking for it, saying you can keep you know, throwing them punches and he's hoping to catch uh, Alidu on the counter as well. Coming from Olowu once again. Two good combinations coming from Olowu again. And that is where he needs to watch it. Uh, because uh, as far as Salidu is concerned, he wants to brawl. He just wants to go on the inside where he's opening the house with everything that he has. And he reminds you of the Ken Norton in, 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 in the era of the Muhammad Ali and Co. It's, and that's, there you go again. It's all about that brawling. Just wants to. Olo really having a tough time with this opening from Ghana. He can fathom out what style that is going to bring up next in the next round. And so confusion sets in. But he's been able to do well to fight from the outside. Alidu not able to penetrate that time. Good jobs there going. Olo asking for those body punches. And I think he's trying to connect to the head of his opponent. Once he's open up his... I think he's working on a strategy. I'm not too sure how far he can pull it off. He seems to be trying to... Good one his... from... Good left from Olo. Good double uh, left hander from Olu also. And the fans trying to get behind Olu right here. And that's that elbow, I saw it as well. Uh, there's so many things that uh, Alibu is throwing into this fight. And uh, the referees have to be very, very cautious of it. Seventh round of Shadow 10 for the West Africa welterweight title. Sedu Alidu of Ghana and Taiwo Olowu of Nigeria. Good combination there. Both boxers trying to juice their jabs. The low, I think he has found out that the smothering strategy of uh, Alidu is not more as effective as it used to be before. So it's now a game of who's got more stamina against the other one. Big body shoulder from Alidu. Catching each other right there. And that 
elbow being thrown once again and it do, does look like Adesoya seems like he has given Alidu his last warning on the elbow or uh, the use of the elbow. Good jabs, good body punches, and uh, is uh, Alidu has been able to use those body punches too. A very good use. Big miss there. Wide swing of the left. Alidu. Good jabs. Left and right combination coming from below with them. Good job. Oh, Another that was a low, low blow. blow again. I, I think there's a there's quite a few dirty things that uh, Suleiman Ali do has been put up, and there you have it. Points deducted. I think it was about time because uh, he done quite a few things. He done the headbutt, done the elbows like twice, and, and, uh, low blows. This is probably the first one, and I think it was it just got a bit too much for referee Adesanya who had to put a stop to it. So one point, uh, doctor from the dynamite Alidu of Ghana. A little setting for that upper court and not able to get it. Oh, low catching Ali do there with a lovely right hook to the left chin there. The aggression is relentless. He keeps going forward, he keeps going forward, putting his uh, weight and everything on uh, Olo, trying to smother him and uh, really, you know, wear him down physically as well. Going to the eighth round. It's really a very, very eventful uh, bout uh, so far. Eight of ten. The corner of a low screening out. Instructions of what he should do. Olo needs to throw the punches, let it go. He's got that jab right in there, and it does look like every time he gets a jab in, it's always an opportunity for Ali Dude to get in there. Good combination, and that slip almost cost uh, Ali Dude there. But Olo gave him so much uh, time on that one. Ali Dude got his own in that time. Nice Sends it another up. one. Although we should try to complain less. Yes, I agree that there was a bit of a rabbit punch there, but it's not something that he should be complaining about. This is not a point. I totally disagree with that. I, I, I agree uh, as well. No. I don't think it was so much of a so I don't think it was so much of a rabbit punch from that one. I think Olohu needs to concentrate more on his fight strategy, which he is using now, and get out whenever this, uh, his opponent is on the inside. So physical. Look at that. Fans are chanting a low woo, low woo now. Massive left hook from a low Oof. If that landed, it would have been devastating. Problem for Lowu would have been 
The referee wanting to give it out to one into low also. The use of elbow not allowed. I don't know what it is with Halidu. Why can't Halidu just calm down and wait for the referee to restart the fight? And he's, I don't know whether it's an anger thing for him. He's uh, wasting his energy a lot, swinging so many punches. There you have it again. Good combination, left and right, uh, right and left rather. Combining there. That connected very well with the low who had to clinch immediately. The championship round of this West Africa title bout between Asedu Alidu of Ghana and Taiwo Gentle Boy of Lou Wolf, Nigeria. Here we go. Good one from Lou. Starting the round very well. A good a combination of left right to the body. You can see that shot from Lou took away all the sweat from the face of Alidu. Olowu needs to understand how to fight a brawler. Whenever a brawler comes for you, you need to get physical with him as well and be aggressive as well. That's the only way to stop. He needs to psych himself up and get himself back in it, not shifting any ground because uh, the way it is going. Our leader just uh, depending on how to get one big shot that uh, will rock Olowu. That's what he's looking for. But Olowu thinks to know all that, and so he's not giving in to it. It's definitely going to be a rough fight, and Olowu needs to get rough with Alidu as well. I think Olowu fell on his own. No, no, no. He was shot. He was shot by Alidu. He was shot by Alidu, but I don't think that that shot was enough for him to go to the ground that much. He needed a breather, and that's how he got it. Although he needs to learn how to dance his, his way out of trouble and ensure that he connects, because Alidu will not back off, he will keep coming forward. That is the strategy that he has employed. And he feels that he's been able to intimidate Olowu with that. You can look at how physical he's trying to make the fight. It's now chasing Olowu all over. But yet he's not been able to get that punch. Oof. The strategy is not working. He's not able to be precise. I, I, th I, think, I think Alidu has been able to intimidate him physically and he's not been able to fight his own strategy. He needs to throw in those punches and start using that movement. And as he thinks he can get it and see what's happening. Alidu, wide, wide a swing from Alidu. Olow is literally being physically exhausted. Olu doing opponent. exactly what he should be doing. At that time, all he needed to do was to have a hold of uh, his opponent.
It's not watching, it's not seeing, it's not uh, listening to the referee at all. I, I don't know what it is. There's something about his aggression. He's not just uh, backing up at all. We're going down to the 10th round. Big punch is there. Nice jab. And another big jab again coming from Olowu, who goes for the clinch. That should have been his strategy right from the start. Get the, get the punches in and clinch. I leave you searching for an open court. Not getting it. Oh, Alido has a very unique fight style. His fight style is to wear down his opponent physically and try and throw those powerful punches. I'm not surprised at how he has now how he has gotten ten wins, eight of them by knockout. It's it's because he physically exa exerts himself on most of the bouts. You can see the way when he swings wide, the way he goes all over the place after those wide swings. And this is what Olohu should be doing at this point in time. He should be running out of punches and turning it into the corner. But Alidu is trying to pin him there as well. Olohu's uh, movement in the ring has really, really been what is keeping him in this fight. Something about the foot stance of Ali Dude. Often times when he wants to corner his opponent, he's always putting his foot right beside the place where the opponent might want to go through in trying to meander out of the place. And that could be very dangerous as well. Both going for uppercut. Olohu got it right. Olohu really clinching too much at this point in time. But there, there, there are people who will tell you that that is what he should do now. And, and another jab. Two jabs going in there for Olohu. Third and one, also got an uppercut. But that is the way the fight comes to an end. What a fight. What a fight. A fight of contrasting styles. Very, very contrasting style for the two fighters. Thank you. 
so what will be the decision? It's going to be interesting to know. If I may ask you, Ralph, uh, from what you have seen so far over 10 rounds, where do you think the pendulum would go based on your own assessment? Uh, I think um, the strategy brought by Alidu at the end, it didn't work for him uh, because there was no precision at all. Kept chasing his opponent, but not able to land that uh, punch he was looking for. And Olowu was fighting very smart, sticking and moving, sticking and moving. Got the ring generalship. So at the end, I think Olowu will be the new champion. I've gotten at least uh, three rounds uh, for me, uh, but he wasn't able to really get enough rounds uh, that will give him, give the, him the fight. Uh, okay. Because, um, uh, well, let's uh, not preempt. Uh, let's go to, into the ring and get the official decision for this one. Who is Results the new? Results of the West African Boxing Union Super Welderweight title fight is out. George A. George. Scores it, 91, 98. George Tayo Olaifa scores it, 90, 98. George Constance Chiragorum Scores he, 96, 98. Ladies and gentlemen, the new West African Boxing Union Super World Away Champion, Simon Presented that's by exactly what happened. Mr. Jomi. Exactly, uh, because I saw the way the fight went all through from the first Mr. round to Jomi the 10th round. And uh, if only Alidu was more precise and knew exactly what he wanted to do, and of course, Don't timed forget. his shots better, the then he would have gotten monster. something, a better For result than what he has gotten, but Goes all swinging, chasing your opponent Opusaya. all around the ring and not able to land the Memorial punches you trophy. needed. And disasters are made of that. I think, I think, I think you, you, you do have a point in that.